Hi loves, I'm Athena Barry of crystalreikihealer.com and author of Raise Your Vibes and I want to welcome you to the magic of Aquarius season. Today we're going to dive into the big six for Aquarius, the end of the retrogrades and what that means for you moving forward. Please remember to like and subscribe and comment what you'd like to see next. This channel is all about you, bringing you spiritual education, meditations, and fun ritual ideas with tools that are easy to find and use in your daily practice. Please remember to subscribe and comment what you'd like to see next. Now we are moving out of the earth-centered practical energy of Capricorn and into the more lighthearted and creative energy of Aquarius. Now Aquarius is an air sign a fun bubbly time for all things intellectual, imaginative, open-minded, and creative, and of course, sociability. So here are the six things that you can look forward to during this cycle. One, conventional ways of doing things will feel like a burden or a chore during this cycle. Rather than pushing through in the conventional ways of, pa of the past, you know, change it up. Look at your projects and your responsibilities in a new light. How can you do things differently and still get the job done? Two, let go of restrictions and any restrictions on your work, your personal lives by letting outside opinions and judgments just kind of roll off your consciousness. It may feel oppressive getting the mundane and daily tasks done like household chores, dishes, laundry, or if you're a parent or student dealing with homework and deadlines, again, this is an area you can change it up a bit. So pop on some fun music, clear out the old and broken for a nice fresh start. Three. Take care of your physical body by getting moving, whether it's dancing, walking, hiking, yoga, a Tai Chi class, try something new. Getting your physical body moving will also keep your mind moving and you'll feel more productive and see a little more clearly how to get things done without feeling like it's a chore. Four. Take some time this month for generosity and heart-centered giving. Like, is there a charity you've had in mind or a donation center nearby? Clear out the old by giving it to others to repurpose and enjoy. Or you can also show someone that you support, like maybe you've seen on social media or a teacher or someone who's made an impact on you and you want to just show them some love. Try sending them like a you know, $5 gift card or a donation or even a cup of coffee. Just pick up some um, breakfast in the morning before work and bring it to your coworkers as a nice treat. Just, you know, something small that you can do that shows your appreciation. Five, as you contemplate old traditions and traditional ways of doing things, you'll have some inspiration on where you can make changes and recreate these old traditions and where you wanna to stick to the ones that still resonate for you. And you'll recognize the difference by which ones help you feel grounded and centered and which ones are just more of a drag. If you're finding it hard to push through certain traditions, these are areas where you can make some changes. Six, Aquarius brings that feeling of yearning to be a social butterfly and get out of your homes and routines. So reach out to your friends, your family. Maybe you haven't seen someone for a while that you've missed. I know we're still in this pandemic, but reach out, make some time to meet up, go outside and enjoy the company of loved ones and do this in a way that's a little different from your norm. Instead of getting together for, you know, coffee or dinner, try something new, take a new class together, book a healing session together, do some Reiki or a sound bath or look up on, you know, maybe Eventbrite. You'll find a local energy healing workshop nearby that you guys can join together. And who knows, maybe it'll turn out to be something that you really love and it'll become part of your new normal.
And of course, we are still in the retrograde stage, right in the middle of Venus and Mercury retrograde. So look forward to February 4th, because that is when all the planets will have gone direct. And we'll get out of these retrogrades, at least for the time being. So you can expect your communication in both your personal, romantic, and business lives will all start to go a little more smoothly again. And this will be a great time for you to go out and enjoy these friendships, these relationships, these partnerships that really matter the most for you. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you so much for watching. If there's a special way you like to enjoy the magic of Aquarius season, please let others know in the comments. It may be just the new someone else has been looking for. And of course, we have the new moon and the full moon for this cycle, so check back for those. I'll have links below on some fun ritual ideas that you can start thinking about and putting into practice. I'm wishing you all so much love, healing, and hope you have a magical day. Blessings.